I go, that's the, that's a, it's a goof. I'm goofing myself. It's, it's, it's a total. And I said to him, if that was Brad Pitt doing that in a movie, he goes, what's well, different? I go, how's that different? Yeah, fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I said, you know, uh, never mind. Thank you. But, you know, I'm good. Uh, I just felt like, and so I took it out and everyone sort of first cut was like, why did you, why did you take it out? That was hysterical. That moment with you and Billy, and then you with the girl, you're like, you know, and then the guitar thing was just, it was just, it fit the movie. And I, um, I, I let it go because I'm in a movie enough. You well, know, you got plenty of other scenes that more than make up for it. I mean, yeah, yeah, but there was, it was a, but the thing it was, it was a musical too. It, w- it would have had every, and you would have hit every <laughs> damn genre. I would have every genre. I mean, you get the whole, yeah, I would have every, even the cross dressing. I mean, everything would have been in there. So that's why I brought that up because the, uh, it was actually in there. And I didn't realize it when I wrote it. And the guitar scene wasn't even in the movie. What happened was one of the actors was um, late for set. <clears throat> Get him out of the trailer. <laughs> Preoccupied. <laughs> Preoccupied. That's <laughs> <laughs> the best of us. And uh, so we're just all like just looking at each other. And, you know, time is money and I'm shooting on film. And I've I'd have actually had a big crew. Again, if you look at the credits, if you look at the credits, I have a huge crew, you know. Oh yeah. In the modern day, and um, and they're getting paid by the hour, you know, because it's a you know it's a real movie. So it's not like you know it's your friends you know working for free. And um, so one of the guys had a guitar, and I said, oh, give me the guitar, you know. Uh, let's do a song. And they're like, you're fucking nuts, you know. So so I said, am I in focus? Is this thing working? So we rehearsed it. Uh, I went through wardrobe because I wasn't going to shoot that. It was like my only day I wasn't going to shoot. And I just did this, made a song up while I was um, in the in the makeup chair. Nice. nice. Yeah, it was it was kind of like just funny, you know. And so um, that's how there was a, it was a musical. But back to the yeah, back to the genres. Yeah, you're right. It's it, it they build it as a action medieval like the cover. Yeah, you got. Yeah, they build it as a. a um, Act, it's an action section. There's action, okay. comedy, and uh, drama, all three on IMDb. Oh, they put in comedy. Yeah. Like right, good, thank God. But I know the um, the distribution company wanted no comedy in it. Mm. I'm like, well, then there'll be no movie. <laughs> you know, we always funny. One review guy wrote, uh, an idiot. Oh God, he wrote down down. Uh, and yes, there was some unintentional comedy in the movie. Unintentional. <laughs> Thank you. It's the same damn movie. <laughs> that's, that's, that's great for marketing purposes. It was unintentionally funny. Right, right. And I was like, wow. He missed it. You guys at the same time were like, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, come on, man. But uh, some people, you know, it's like if you were going to see like um, a comedy and all of a sudden Schindler's List came on, Schindler's List, it's a great movie. But if you're not, you know. Prepared for it. Yeah, if you're not with the SS, you're not going to find it funny. Yeah. Um, so I think some of the people at the beginning of the of the, of the the run, um, they were selling it to like, let's say if you two guys are of a company, and let's say Brandon buys the comedies and you buy the period piece movies, and someone hands you this movie to watch as a period piece, and in front of you, you have like 300, Kingdom of Heaven, uh, Hercules, Troy, Achilles. And then of the Templar, you're going to be like, what is this? But luckily, a couple of times it's fell in Brandon's lap or a guy that handles like David Lynch movies, you know, or Tarantino movies. And they're like, oh, this is brilliant. Like, this, this is like bizarre. Wow. And it's tough to intertwine all those genres and make it work. And I think I'm kind of like the first person to do that many genres without it not being like a genre piece. I don't know if that makes sense. It's just... Uh, no, it, it, in an odd way, yeah. Like, I, I mean, yeah. honestly, the, the 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 beautiful thing about the film is that it def, it defies convention, and that really oh, yeah. helps yeah. it stand out. You know, I think yeah. rather than trying to put it into a genre, you should just accept it for what it is, which is Night of the Templar, which is unique, which is uh, it's got to be a fucking cult classic soon, and if it's not, someone's not paying attention. Yeah. Well, it's up to you guys. Don't worry, we'll make it happen. Yeah, we'll, 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 I'm, I'm outside your, your building right now. It's it's up to you guys. What do you think of the uh, the bushes yeah. out there? 
I trimmed them earlier today. <laughs> you know, I was peeing, and I got, I, it got windy. So I, I got, It was raining. Oh, damn it. Man. Uh, damn it. it was, I was holding it. I was holding it. <laughs> well, we appreciate you trying. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I got to ask because I'm curious because it's like looking at your cast list, like how did you get all these guys to like show up? It was like Udukir and Norman and, and a couple other people that we've seen in, like in so many like freaking films and shit that we love. Like how did you pull off like getting all these guys to come and show up? All right. Um, the medieval part of the movie, it's all um, – I shot that and went back and shot more of it. But it's all – if you notice, it's all like theater-trained people in the medieval. You know, like it's me and um, – God, it's me and Nick Jameson and Asif Cohen and Haraj Satishian. It's it's like there's we have all like, there's old theater people. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. That's why the medieval I shot on 35 millimeter and I used mostly um, sticks, you know, in dolly shots. Like I did it old school, like I, and I did 35 millimeter with Kodak film, and I made it really look not like a play, but more like an epic movie. You know that feel. Yeah, it translates, man. Right, you get it, and, yeah. and, it's, and people don't realize it's like you guys watch movies, you understand movies. People, they don't know why, they're like, wow, something about that movie, but it, you know, the devil's in the details, you know. Yeah. And they don't need to know specifically why. The most important it, thing is that it translates, you know, and you're left right. with this feeling of epic, you know. And then when I did the modern day, I went to Fuji Film and Super 16, because it gives it, Fuji Film gives a different feel. It's more like a European saturation. Right. And the film, and I did a lot of handheld steady cam stuff, you know, made it more modern day ish. Not like Blair Witch Project, which so, you know, like that. Yeah. I did a lot of slow movements, but, you know, a lot of a lot of handheld stuff. So I knew when I shot the, um, when I shot the, um, modern day, I wanted to make that more hip, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I did some dark comedy in the medieval, like when the head goes, the head, the head goes gets chopped up and flies by everybody, and the guy, and they were like, <laughs> okay, back to business. You know, there are moments like that, you know, with Coco, and there are some really funny moments with um, uh, the character Gregoire character and Malcolm when he's on the, you know, any of that blood yours. Well, it is now, you know. Yeah, dude, that one actually caught me. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 you know, because people don't realize, but back then, I mean, guys had sense of humor. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, what I I've played a lot of roles, and I've done a lot of kind of bizarre roles. Um, don't ask me why they cast me for bizarre stuff. But, um, <laughs> but when I look at it, I was playing one of my first movies. You know, I, on stage, you do whatever you want, but when you do a movie, you know, it's it's, it's not as many opportunities, you know? Because it's kind of like cookie-cutter stuff, a lot of movies you watch. There's, like, certain genres, and it's it's always the same kind of characters, always the same cop drama, the same thrillers, the same... You know, you know how it's going to go for the night. You know, minutes. revenge movie. Guy gets out of jail, and he, or he loses his wife, or they kill his family, and then he's on a revenge rampage for, like, five people. You know, it's like, oh, God. Or the horror movies. It's just random killings for ten people. It's kind of like the same... Okay. Real quick, Paul. I hate to cut you off, man. Uh, oh, yeah. Just, you know, we gotta, we're at a couple-minute warning here. So, um... We do have to sort of tie this off in the next couple oh, of minutes. I get into Brandon's question. Oh. Uh, What's up? We get on a, we get sidetracked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Sorry, my bad. I mean, we, so you were, we were talking about how you managed yeah. to angle all these major talents. Started side, I started sidetracking. You guys went on board with me. Uh, okay, I was doing a movie in Bulgaria with Norman Reedus. Me and Norman were doing a movie in Bulgaria with uh, a Tommy Flanagan who was in it, Kim Coates, Ray Liotta. Wow. Cuba Gooding Jr. Whoa, what what movie? Oh, uh, Hero Wanted. Shit, we gotta check, I that, gotta check out. that out. That's yeah. A- it's another role. It's another role. There's all these lunatics and I'm the craziest guy of the lunatics. Perfect. You know? Um so you know, I'm with Norman and I had some medieval footage with me because I was actually editing on the computer and sending notes to the editor and uh I'd done some stuff then. And I'm showing Norman and I told Norman the pres the uh, the you know the basic you know, concept of the movie, mm-hmm. and we're just sitting side by side, and he's watching it. I said, no, I mean, I'm thinking, when I go to shoot the modern day stuff, and he's like, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, do you, do you want to be in? Okay, okay, it's not, <laughs> not, now there's two of us, you know? So now it's Norman and myself, and then um, we get back, and um, and I finish up the medieval stuff, um, and then... Um, I called Norm. I said, Norm, I'm ready, I think. And, you know, we went over to stuff. He goes, call up Udo. So um, I went to Udo's house in uh, in L.A. 
And um, I just told this story. I'll tell the 10 second story. He basically made me a sandwich and I'm at his house eating a sandwich and <laughs> we were with a character, you know, and then there was three, you know, uh, <laughs> right. What, what, what a lineup, me, Udo, and Norman. And then I called up Max uh, Perlick, you know, Max from Drugstore Cowboy and Blow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah he's done a lot. And me and Norman know Max. And so uh, then there was four and it just went from like, you know, went like that, you know. That's and crazy, that's, man. And I called David. David was five. And then Billy was six. So uh, Billy Drago was six. And it just, uh, actually, I didn't call Billy. I got Billy. Uh, I had met Billy with, with Norman, actually, on a, uh, when he was shooting. Another movie, he was on, on a different location. I wasn't working, working with Billy, but. Um, it's amazing and, how uh, it's such a small world. It's a small world, man. Yeah. The reason, but the reason why uh, Norman did it was because, um, well, We've done movies together, obviously, and um, he respects me as an artist. You know, that's the bottom line. That's awesome. And I think with Udo, from meeting me, seeing my personality, trusting Norman's judgment, because, you know, it's a trust issue. And then he read the script, and he loved the script. Right. Nice. Yeah. I don't think Norman read the script yet, to be honest. You just signed on. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, once you get to that... Um... That autoerotic asphyxiation scene in the the BJ. Uh, yeah, sold too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people watch it like this. Oh no, we watched it like this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, if that is not enough encouragement to go check out the movie, uh, I don't know what is. Um, for anyone who's uh, listening or watching, you can check it out on iTunes. Uh, you can pick it up online through uh, Walmart or Target. Um, We'll link the review in the comments so we can get more info. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Got any closing comments, Paul? Well, just um, a side note. Don't pirate it for uh, three reasons. One is it's illegal. And, and pirating is bad, children. It's bad because as guys like me, you know, we're trying to make another movie and uh, we have to pay for the first one. Two is the pirated version isn't the same version. It's missing like three or four scenes. Um, someone got a hold of a copy of it and they didn't pirate the right movie. So, yeah, iTunes um, is the best way to stream it is iTunes and Walmart, like you said, is the best way to buy it online. If you go to the website with an N, Knight of the Templar dot com, it's uh it's all there, you know. All those shits yeah, the we'll, check, we'll, have, we'll make sure that everyone's got the appropriate links. Yeah. No, our, our audience is better than to uh, do anything illegal. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thanks so much again uh, for talking. Yeah. I wasn't too uh, too mouthy, too wordy, but uh... <laughs> no. Honestly, we could we could talk to you for much longer than this, but people on the internet have the attention span of retarded squirrels. So uh, yeah. yeah so you you can't insult your audience like that. You know yeah, we can. Audience. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You're right. You're right. You good point. Because I'm I'm one of those people. Yeah, well, we'll do a we'll do a too long didn't watch after this. All right. I just I just want to say to the audience, um, I, show me the shirts. Lift up your shirts, man. Show me your tits. Sit. Horribly hooch. You guys have to put that up here. You gotta get the white screen. Yeah, have to get like better. I don't know. Just like tattoo it on our forehead. No, no. I mean, if you just pull the screen down a little bit. I mean, just the happy face. There you go. See, yeah, I'm not, we need a director. We need a director. Uh, I'm, I'm framing you guys. <laughs> you guys are great, man. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for having me. And um, yeah, thank you, Lou. And you did a great review. You should get the review out there, to everybody, man. I really love the review. I said to everybody, they thank they you. love. I appreciate it, it man. Thank you. Yeah, you guys have a great uh great attitude. Thank you. Know. you. <laughs> we try. You have fun. You have fun. That's it. So it's all about, man. All right. Oh yeah, hold on. Let me just my brows. <laughs> All right, sir. Cheers. All right, man. Rock and roll, man. Thank you. Bye. Bye.